Good morning everybody and welcome to the channel. My name's Lisa. If you have not already, please hit the like and subscribe, ring the little bell, get notifications of my videos whenever I upload them. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a water barrel holder for the motorbike trailer. So this is what I've got at the moment. This is a bit of S275 3 mil plate which I have at the back of the garage and because it was at the back of the garage it hasn't been used so it was a good opportunity to do something useful with it with the price of steel being what it is and i bought some 40 mil by 3 mil flat bar which jed at h2o profile cutting kindly let me roll out on his roller because i used to work there and he is a very good boss so yeah they're still friends which is really good um so i've got these little bits cut out as well these are going to be strengthening gussets to if you imagine this is the bottom now, they're going to go like that because there's going to be a frame that goes around here which bolts to the trailer and then down here we've got some bits of tube which we're going to use to make our legs so yeah, uh, we need to make these nice and round now so we're going to have to cut these little bits off here so the way I'm thinking that we can do that is the steel sheet that this bit was cut out of is going to be perfect for actually using to tack these bits to to get them nice and round and then what i can do is put the legs on here in the correct position and then weld this to the leg while it's still tacked to the excess material which we're going to discard and then that will hopefully allow this to keep a better shape well that's my plan if it works we'll find out so uh yeah keep watching
The legs are cleaned up at the bottom now. Um, I'm going to leave this on here at the moment and then weld the legs to the plate. And what that will do is give me good tangency then, like so. And then we can take the plate out from underneath because it's currently sitting in the cutout from the profile cutting, which was done at H2O where I used to work. Um, so yeah, the three legs are going to go on like that. And then like I say, that will give me good tangency. I've got my square here, which I will clamp against it to keep it perpendicular, which will work well, hopefully. Um, and then what we can do is we can drop this down the necessary amount or lift this sheet up, whichever. Um, and then we can weld the band onto here. we we'll then break the tacks here weld up the next one and then put the ring on top so hopefully that will keep it running pretty true and accurate but yeah the, uh, the band has come out really really well really pleased with that so far so yeah let's get going on the next little bit then so I just need to centralize it up here now which is nice and easy to do and it's only got to be by eye so it's not overly critical
still there? Well, still it's a nice seat, is that, isn't it? Hey, nice little seat. Lovely. Now, tack together this steel frame that the power holder is going to sit on because this is going to have four mounting points to bolt onto the chassis of the trailer. Um, next thing to do is we need to weld these little tabs on like so, just because the tube will fit above here. So I'm going to give these a quick clean up and then we're going to measure in 90.3mm and we're going to just put one on there and one on there. But first they need a quick clean and we need to clean the paint off of here. Set our distance now at 90.3 mil, so we will describe this.
say I'll support. Oh, I'm, I'm there looking. Reasonably square. Happy with that. 